Hello, I wanted to make a video to show you guys all the toys I got so far from the second hand store I work at. And things there are really, really um, affordable for me, even more so because I um, have to pay less because I work there. Like, I get worker discounts. So, I will try to remember the prices I paid. Um, for everything but some things i probably won't be able to remember but yeah and i will just start with this one um you can I, I think they're from a show but i do not know where from i just thought he looked cool and i always loved werewolves i think he's a werewolf and he can ride in his little car motorcycle thingy oh, he fell down. Um, I think I paid like 25 cents for for the both of them um, which is really cool and he can go boom and crash um, so that's that and there's a little helicopter um, this one was I think I was allowed to just take it home because it sat on the shelf for like three months and no one wanted it and when I ask how much they say just take it um so yeah that's really cool too I don't know if my camera will be able to focus but I will try then I got Pooh and Tigger Pooh's nose is a little bit rubbed off but nothing a little um paint can't fix um there were i think 50 cents because it's original disney stuff so it's a little more expensive but they're a little poseable at least he is uh, i don't think tigger can move at all not really um but yeah those two and the whale something is in there and i do not know how to get it out but he can open his mouth and he's really heavy and I like that um, he's great for stimming because I can do this or shake him and he's really cool I think he was 50 cents um, the prices are a little all over the place <laughs> sometimes it, it's dependent on who prices the things some people are uh, a little uh, well a little more realistic with the pricing and some people try to put like outlandish prices on things um so yeah it's a, it's, it's dependent on, on who puts the price on it he was 50 cents um those two things were less i well he's pretty cool still <laughs> then oh those are cool i paid two euros for both of them together so one per uh, thingy and those are little dinosaurs i can oh sorry those are little dinosaurs i can build um with those little thingies a triceratops and a t-rex that doesn't doesn't really look like a t-rex but still they're pretty cool and i'm excited i'm excited to build them I hope you heard me even though those things were like crinkling like crazy. Um, what next? Okay, this one. This is just a bag full of doll clothes. Um, they were like 50 cents as well for everything. Um, so I really like to dress up my plushies. Um, and i thought well i'll just get the whole box whatever i can use i use and the rest i can just put back and someone else can buy it um so yeah there are all different kinds of, of cute little doll clothes um that's that and two vintage plush dinosaurs a red one and a green one they're really cute um he looks like he's judging everyone <laughs> and i like that 
Um, I think they were 50 cents together, so 25 cents each, um, which is super cool. And I really like them. They're sitting on my shelf up there um, normally. Right now they're chilling here. Um, then a little monchichi or, or, or however you are uh, use the you have to pronounce this thingy um he closes his eyes when you lay him down and he has his little bottle thumb thingy and i had one of i like exactly this one when i was small and mom gave it away at some point so i bought him back <laughs> it's probably a different one but still um i don't know how much how much i paid i think i yeah, I think they just gave him to me um, because I liked him so much. So he was free. I think they are little monkeys or monkey people. I don't know. They are cute. So let's put him here too. This little bear. I got him mainly because he's weighted. Like he's really heavy for this small little size. Um, there are weights in every single paw of his and he's really good for grounding and his fur is super super soft. He was 50 cents I think um, and he's really cool and really high quality too. They had like five of them or so um, and two of my other co-workers also got one because they really liked him. <laughs> so that's that. Mm. This is a box with two puzzles. Um, I got it because dinosaurs. There's this puzzle in there and this one. And they are in four different bags. Um, so yeah. That's, I hope they are still in the right baggie, otherwise I will have to figure it out. <laughs> and I'm excited to make this puzzle too. Um, and there's this little bear. He has like a little clock in there, but I just took out the batteries because I could not figure out how to set the clock right. So I just pressed the little button in his paws and it's also great for stimming and grounding. Um, I also got him for free and he's really cute and he's from a really good brand, a German brand I like a lot. The same German brand Wilbur is from. He's adorable and I'm still looking for his girlfriend. Um, by the time I got him she was already gone, sadly. So now I'm looking for the girlfriend because they always come in pairs. The brand is Kuschelwuschel, by the way. Um, it translates roughly to Snuggle Wuggle, I think. Um, or Huggy Wuggy, <laughs> if you so choose. Um, and they always come in a pair with like one male and one female with like a dress complementing those colors. And sadly, his girlfriend is gone. Or his sister. I think they're, they're siblings. He's Wilbur and I would call her Wilma if I ever find her um, and get her. But yeah, he was, I think, two euros. Which is completely understandable because this brand is super high-end and very, very, very big in the collector world of plushies. Um, so yeah, that's Wilbur. And he's always on my shelf too. Then I got this cute little blankie because I really like the colors and the bears and the other side is full of clouds. Um, yeah, I just like cuddling with it and it's super huge. So it's great for big babies like me. Um, then I got this little doll because I had the same one growing up but um, the clothes were red instead of the, those colors. I like those colors better though. Um, my doll was called Puppy, so I called this one Puppy Toop. So P, the U with the two dots, double P, -Y -A -A -I. I don't know if I 
yeah and dyslexic i don't know i'm stupid um so this, this is pippi and i like her too she's really really cute she always sits on my shelf too i have a shelf full of like childhood toys i have um and had and refound and whatever and she's there too then some of you might already know this big fella mr waffles i paid 50 cents for him and he is huge like humongous um so yeah he's adorable and i love him a lot and he's great for snuggles and he's actually in my guest bed and serves as a little body pillow because he's so good to hug um then i just got today this adorable oh wait sorry he lost his head not head head this thing um this is benji or benjamin i just got him today he's adorable i don't usually like dolls but i don't know when i saw him i just felt a connection and i got him i also got the clothes he has for free he only wore this jacket this hat and underpants so i um could uh get some of the clothes uh, for free and then i said you know what i just get the whole bag and then i paid the price i already forgot i think it was 50 cents one euro i don't know i told you before this bag um yeah so this is benji and he's he's my son and i love him a lot um he's super super cool and he's handmade i figured that out um some mother or grandmother made him um and now i will love him i have to fix him a little bit some some sewing is getting really really loose like he's about to lose his head so i will fix him up and then he's all the better so yeah once again benji and then i got some books about dinosaurs firstly so this one is from mcdonald's just some information this is a storybook about some dinosaurs this is a sticker book about dinosaurs and it actually still has the stickers um not all of them but many and this information book about dinosaurs i had a similar one growing up most of the information is now super outdated but it's still really interesting and i also got other books one second <sighs> there they are uh, this little storybook i don't know what most of them are about right now because i'm a really slow reader um this storybook about a dinosaur this little information booklet with different infos about different things for kiddos bambi a little storybook about wood animals and a piglet for some reason but yeah um this cute little book i really liked the art um it's really beautiful it's a little children's book i have no idea what it's about um this little booklet full of ideas for crafting so you might find some of the things i do here at some point on my blog um just different things to do with or for or as kiddos um yeah i'm excited to read into this too and the illustrated harry potter and the good thing is jk rowling got not a cent <laughs> from this cell um i paid like two euros or so what what did they really it originally went for 27 euros and 80 cents and i paid two or one or two euros i don't know 
um, and it's beautifully like the art is gorgeous um, it's illustrated by bah, 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 Jim K um, and I really really like the art so I got it and I think that is all so yeah um, I am planning on also making a video of me showing off the cute clothes, especially the ones for regress regressing, like the, the childish, I have to say, clothes um, I got from the secondhand store. Um, so stay tuned for that at some point. <laughs> um, until then, thank you for watching and bye bye.